I've got a mountain of fabric and I thought that you all might like to see some of the fabrics that I've recently purchased. So let me walk you through some of the fabrics that I picked up from four different shops. I'm Madi with Madi Sews and thanks for hanging with me you all. So when I was in Florida recently, I visited a whole bunch of shops and honestly I came back with a suitcase packed with fabrics and quite overweight. So I thought that I would show you some of the fabrics that I bought and actually I'm gonna have to do two different videos. It's quite a bit. So let's just do four different shops today and we'll do the rest of it tomorrow. Let's start with a shop that we went to in the Fort Lauderdale area, I believe, and it was called A to Z Fabrics. So A to Z Fabrics was actually a bit of a unique store in that, I mean, honestly, I haven't been to a store where I felt like I was hot flashing every couple of seconds. And that was kind of this one. I did find a couple of really special fabrics, um, actually one, and a coordinating one. So I picked up this poly spandex from them, and I'm actually thinking about a bikini the next time I go on vacation, which hopefully is next year. COVID keeps canceling my vacations. <laughs> but I did pick this up because I thought it would look really kind of fabulous. I got one yard of this, and honestly, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it, it, I know that it was around 15 to $18, like that mark. You can get poly spandex for cheaper, but that's where this one fell in. Now, I also got this coordinating fabric to line it, and I thought that it might be fun to actually make like solid bottoms in this and vice versa to see if I can kind of do a mix and match type of scenario with these two fabrics. So these were super exciting. And yeah, both of them were in that $15 to $18 range. Now, if you're in the Fort Lauderdale or Miami area, there's just one thing I want to know about this, um, this store, which was A to Z Fabrics. They, you have to be careful with the fabrics that you actually pick up and make sure that you look at the actual length that they're cutting. For some reason, there seem to be a lot of mildew, stains, like little holes, things like that in the middle of their fabric. So as they were rolling it out to cut it, you would start to see all of these imperfections. And they were really trying hard to like sell you imperfect fabric at a discount. When I was buying this one, there was a hole right in the middle and she tried to sell it to me at a discount and she was actually trying quite hard. And I had to tell her like, no, like I need to be able to cut this on a fold and there's a hole near the fold. Like I can't use it. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're actually going to that shop. I'm not saying that all of their fabrics are like that, but I will say that three of the five of us that picked up fabrics had some kind of issues with it and had to leave fabric there. I mean, that, that really, it doesn't feel good to say you all, because like really I want to come back with some glowing stories and send you to some wonderful places, but... If you go there, just be careful. Okay, so let's move on to some happy stuff because these next fabrics, these right here, <laughs> they all came from a place in Fort Lauderdale called Lex Fabrics. And let me tell you that this was my favorite store to shop in. I mean, all of the bolts were actually laid flat on the tables. So, you know, you would have to walk through and kind of like look through the different bolts to see, but they were all arranged according to price. And I don't think there was a thing in that store that was over $8 a yard. And they had some nice, nice quality fabrics that I saw at other shops in Miami for a lot more money. So, I mean, I this is a shop that I would highly recommend. So I picked up this fabric right here. I got two and a half yards of this one, and it is some sort of textured knit. 
Honestly, I'm not sure what kind. I mean, it doesn't really stretch that much in this direction, but when you stretch it in this direction, it has a little more two-way stretch. Not much though. So this is a bit more of a stable knit and you can see it has like that flower design. It looks like it's a bit of a jacquard because you can see it on the back as well. But I mean, it's it's almost like an embossed. I, I don't know. If you guys know what this kind of knit is called, let me know. I also got it in black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I um, if they would have had more colorways, honestly, I would have picked up more of this fabric. Um, they only had these two colorways, and I was happy to have them. Thumbs up if you're having fun. So this next fabric that I picked up is actually really pretty. I got this netting here, and it has like this paisley design. Now you all, I kind of shocked myself when I purchased this one because I am not a paisley type of person. I typically don't, I just don't gravitate towards it. I picked up this stretch netting here, mostly for athletic wear. I'll pair this with probably solid black, maybe even purple. I could see myself doing it with pink. However, I don't tend to go for lighter colored pants. Um, so yeah, I would think either black or purple is what I would use for this. And then I would do some side inserts um, down the side of the leg with the actual netting. And then, of course, I can incorporate this into a sports bra and even a top. I got about a yard of this, and quite honestly, one yard is going to go a long way because, well, I'm not going to make a full garment out of <laughs> the sheer netting. <laughs> Let me show you this one. It's just, this is one of my favorite fabrics of all time, actually. So I picked this up, and look at that. It's a poly. I'm not sure what kind of poly it is, like what the weave is, but I've got dreams of a wrap dress. Yeah? No? Yeah? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I actually picked up three yards of it because I was thinking that maybe I'd make a wrap dress for winter since it's polyester, make some longer sleeves. Um, I wouldn't I couldn't see myself actually wearing this in summer because it is poly and it'll get a little hot but I think it'll be perfect for winter. And the last two fabrics that I picked up from Lex Fabrics are these two. Now, here's the thing. I really hate it when, um, when some places reuse bolts and they don't actually mark what the fabric is because I really do like to know what I'm buying because it's a learning opportunity for myself, right? Am I buying a satin? Am I buying a chiffon? Am I buying a charmeuse? I, I couldn't tell you what this is other than it's synthetic. I got a yard and a half of each of these and I mostly picked it up because I want to make some kind of like lighter blouse, maybe even a shell to layer things over. So I did pick up the two different colors and I think, honestly, I, I, I think that's as plain as I'm gonna get. I, <laughs> this orange, just gives me life. Now let's talk about a couple of Miami shops. So the first one that I want to tell you about is Carol's Fabric. Um, Carol's Fabric store was actually quite an interesting store and Jason said that when he actually took the store over from his father that it was kind of a um, learn as you go experience. So this guy had bolts and bolts and bolts of fabric kind of stuffed everywhere. Jason was actually really fun. I mean, check him out over here talking about his shop. This is Jason from Carroll Fabrics in downtown Miami, Florida. Uh, we've been open since 1962. We have roughly over 550 printed silks, 725 linens from prints and solids. We carry neoprenes and scubas, laser cut fabrics. We have about 218 sequences, 628 laces. We deal with a lot of couture fabrics. We do like also do fashion forward fabric. A lot of woven knits, crochet knits, sweater knits. Even though we're in Florida, we carry all different weights and wools. I have 1,945 from blended wools, 100% wool, cashmere wool, silken wool. And we're very extremely competitive on our prices to the point that we can pretty much beat anyone's price without even knowing it. Bye. Okay. I picked up some beautiful fabrics. And let me tell you, he was an absolute amazing person to deal with. 
So I got this beautiful knit jacquard. I think it's a knit jacquard, but it has a little bit of stretch this way and a lot more going in this direction. And look at that geometric design there. Isn't that really nice? I love a good geometric design. And the fact that this is all kind of in white, oh, it is good. I am actually planning on making a dolman top with like a big old funnel neck out of this fabric using uh, my Wanda pattern. So I'll be bringing that to you this weekend on Sunday, actually. I almost forgot to tell you. I picked up three yards of this fabric at $10.98 a yard. I also picked up this really beautiful fabric. Um, I don't know what it is, but I really kind of gravitated towards like those tealy colors and I am loving it. So this, I picked up about three yards of it and this was $16.98 a yard. Now, again, because a lot of these fabrics weren't on original bolts, so you couldn't really see what the makeup of it was, I, I'm not entirely sure what this fabric is. It, um, it is opaque, you, so you cannot see through it. It's not sheer in any way. Honestly, I'm not even, I'm not even sure if this is a poly or whatnot, which actually sounds weird because you know, you would think that you would know if, you know, something's silk or poly, but I have no idea what this is. So I think I'm going to end up doing a burn test on this just to see if I can kind of determine if it is natural or synthetic. Um, I don't know. It just, it really does feel nice on the skin though. So that is beautiful. And then I got about a yard and a half of this scuba. Now this scuba was $9.98 a yard, but look at this. <laughs> it's pink on the other side. So it is one of those like double scubas where it's, you know, kind of like two fabrics that are, I don't know how they attach them. They glue them. I don't know how they attach this stuff, but it is a double and it has some pretty, well, it has no stretch in that direction. And then going in this direction, it has a good amount of stretch and recovery. So I actually picked this up because I thought it would be fun to play with some color blocking and maybe a pair of joggers or maybe even a sweater. This fabric is really kind of spongy and it would be super warm. So I'm actually leaning towards a sweater just because I don't, I don't like it when my thighs sweat. And, and I know some of you all know what I'm talking about. I don't like it when my thighs sweat. And these last couple of fabrics I actually picked up from Nunez Fabrics in Miami. Now, I, you, all, you all know how I love a good money print. Well, I got some money mesh. And hang on, this is actually doubled up. Ooh, do, 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 Pow! Check out my money mesh. <laughs> now, I actually plan on using this in the same exact way that I'm going to be using that purple paisley. So... This is going to get inserted into a pair of tights, probably green, maybe an olive green. I don't know. Um, again, sports bras, a, something on a shirt. Oh, it's, this is going to be fun. And, you know, it, it's, it's expensive fabric. You see all those $100 bills? <laughs> Actually, they're all the old style $100 bills. I don't even think they're in circulation anymore. We're just going to say it's expensive and not counterfeit, though. Now, let me tell you all, Nunez Fabrics was primarily poly spandex. Um, they had some, like, sublimated type of printed-on fabrics, which is fine. I mean, because I, I bought a couple. And then um, they had your regular type of poly spandex. So it's great if you're looking for stuff for a swimsuit or even le leggings F athletic wear, things like that. Now, all of these printed fabrics that I'm about to show you were $16.99 each, which is basically everything in his shop. Basically. So I got this print right here and I really absolutely loved it. I like all of the different purples and the pinks and stuff. It's got some really beautiful stretch to it and actually really nice stretch in all of the directions. So four-way stretch if you're here in the U.S., two-way stretch if you're in other countries. <laughs> but it does stretch in all the directions. And I'm actually thinking that this would be a really beautiful one piece. I found some 
food inspired fabrics. <laughs> you guys already know that we're about to have some matching tights, sports bras, and all of that good stuff. So I got my french fry fabric here. <laughs> and look, it's white on the other side. Um, it's got a bit of a um, rubbery feel on it. I think it's a sublimated fabric, but it's okay. And then it does have some pretty decent stretch going in both directions. To coordinate with this one, I picked up chicken and waffles. Ah! <laughs> and you know, to like spice it up a bit or add some color, they threw in some parsley leaves. I can't wait until I walk into a gym wearing this set. It's gonna be pretty epic. And I mean, really, like as long as I'm not smelling like chicken waffles and french fries, I think, I think we're gonna be good to go. And then to indulge my sweet tooth a bit, I got some donut fabric. Yes! And then I also got some jelly bean fabric. And all of these I got one yard of. So it's funny, I was talking to my mom about this one and I was like, I got some donut fabric. I'm thinking about making a sports bra. And she was like, well, you better be careful with that donut placement. And she was right. And then I'm not sure how I'm gonna work the jelly beans in, but these were a must have. Now I also found this fabric, which is a really nice flesh toned fabric. And this was one of the pieces that he actually had discounted on like a table. There were already some that were like pre-priced and uh, marked up. See like this one, you can see. It was a yard and a half at $6.99 a yard. And quite honestly, I could use this to line all sorts of stuff. So this is gonna go a long way. Now, although I really love the spandex fabrics that I picked up from Nunez, I mean, I've gotta say that I'm, I won't be purchasing from them again. And the primary reason is because, well, I don't, I don't like how they treated me. I mean, I was excited to buy stuff and I was pulling bolts and bolts and bolts down and just handing them to the younger guys. And you know, they were the younger guys. They were just, okay, how much do you want of this? They're cutting it. They're writing up my tickets. You know, they're kind of following me around the store without being creepy following, you know, <laughs> you know, like that. Well, they were really great. Well, while they were cutting up the last bit of my food inspired fabrics, I decided to take one last walk around the store. So I started walking around and then that's when I found this. So I picked it up and I continued walking. Well, there was a guy behind the register, a mature guy, and he was like, Are you gonna buy that? Because if so, you need to give it to one of the guys to put it on your ticket. And I, I just kind of looked at the looked at him like, okay, okay, no problem. I'll I'll make sure to get it to him. He was like, okay, because if it's not on your ticket, you can't buy it. I should have walked out of that store right at that point, right? But I was like, okay, so I kind of walked back towards the back of the store where the guys were cutting the rest of my fabrics and I asked him if he could add this to the ticket. So when he finished adding that to my ticket, he came up to the front of the store where the guy was working the register and he handed him my ticket. And in Spanish, these, this guy like turned to the younger guy and was like, What the heck is this? What is this? Fix it. I'm not going to ring it up until you fix it. And I don't know what was wrong with the ticket. I don't know if he didn't like the way he wrote down the numbers or whatever. But it was just like the entire experience there just kind of like, mm, it left a real sour taste in my mouth. And so although I'm happy that I have these fabrics and I'll definitely use them, I, I won't be shopping there again. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna defer right back to Spandex World because the majority of their prints are $15 a yard, so they're already cheaper than this stuff was, and I get good service from Spandex World. With all of that being said, I think it's important that you check out stores for yourself 
because your experience may not be my experience and you make the decisions on where you want to shop. I personally will not be going back to Nunez, but I will tell you that Lex Fabrics and Carol's Fabrics have my heart and I will return time and time again to both of those places. So all of this is probably half of the total fabrics that I purchased recently. I'm going to show you the other half tomorrow. They're actually really good. And you all, uh, if you like fabric hauls, make sure that you check this one right out over here. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.